Are people born good or evil? Thomas Hobbes, an English philosopher born in 1588, thought that people were meant to be inherently selfish. Thomas Hobbes presents himself as the first true political philosopher, the first to offer exact knowledge of justice, sovereignty, and citizenship. Throughout his life, Hobbes believed that the only true and correct form of government was the absolute monarchy. He argued this most forcefully in his landmark work, Leviathan. This belief stemmed from the central tenet of Hobbes' natural philosophy that human beings are, at their core, selfish creatures. According to Hobbes, if man is placed in a state of nature, competition, distrust, and the desire for glory, that is, without any form of government, humans would be in the constant state of warfare with one another. But before we jump into the deep hole that is Hobbes' philosophy, let's talk about his life. Hobbes was born on 1588 in Westport, England. At a very young age of 14, Hobbes went to Oxford to study mathematics. Shortly after, he was asked to tutor Lord Cavendish's son, William Cavendish, because he was just so good at math. Wow! William Cavendish traveled very much and brought Thomas Hobbes with him. William introduced Hobbes to several scholars, such as Francis Bacon, a painter, and Ben Jonson, a poet and actor. Unfortunately, in 1628, William Cavendish died. Hobbes was like, Oh no! and attempted to find another one. Basically, Hobbes was always looking for new aristocracy to serve, for that's really how he made a living. He ended up tutoring another young Cavendish, Sir Charles Cavendish, who was actually William's brother. This was when Hobbes started digging deeper into his philosophic ideas. Through his association with the Cavendish family, Hobbes entered circles where the activities of the king, members of parliament, and other wealthy landowners were discussed, and his intellectual abilities brought him closer to power, although he never became a powerful figure himself. Through these channels, he began to observe the influence and structures of power and government. Hobbes sent to Mersenne a set of comments on both Descartes' discourse and his optics. Hobbes disagreed with Descartes' theory that the mind was the primal certainty. Instead of using motion as the basis of his philosophy regarding nature, the mind, and society. Descartes' mind and body dualism theory describes two kinds of realities, material which is physical and immaterial which is spiritual. For examples, the desks you are sitting in are a material reality because you can physically feel them. The love you feel for Mr. Ayanzito, however, is a spiritual and immaterial reality. Or imagine the matrix where reality stems from the mind. Everything that Neo thought was real was not physically real in the matrix. In response to this theory, Hobbes said, Oh no! and said only material things really exist because a thinking thing is corporeal. In other words, thoughts are embedded in something that has body or something that is material. There cannot be a spiritual mind without body. In terms of the matrix, Neo could not exist within the reality of the matrix's system without his real physical body. What this amounted to in the history of metaphysics was that Hobbes solved the mind-body problem by denying that there existed a non-material substance of mind because everything that existed had to be material. Hobbes had many beliefs that sparked philosophical roots. He went on to convey his ideas about free will and power in one of his greatest pieces, Leviathan. He believed that people at their core were inherently selfish and evil. He believed the only form of government strong enough to hold humanity's cruel impulses in check was absolute monarchy, where a king wielded supreme and unchecked power over his subjects. While Hobbes believed in social contract theory, that is, the theory that a ruler has an unspoken, implicit contract with his people requiring him to reign fairly, he ascribed nearly total power to the monarch and did not believe that people have any right to rebel whatsoever. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report.
Oh, no. 